the Podunk Wildlife Management Area was purchased in 1963 from a local hardwood uh, manufacturer who used the land to supply his mill with lumber. And now here we are in the summer of 2013 celebrating the 50 year ownership of this property. And it's been a wonderful acquisition for the department. The land was left in very, very good condition and a number of, of acres of, of fine quality trees still remained on the property. And we've been able to work with that over the years to create fabulous wildlife habitat as a result and the recreational opportunities that go along with that. No one knows how the Podunk Wildlife Area received its name, but the 926 acre parcel in the Orange County town of Stratford is easily accessible and offers visitors plenty to see and explore. We manage the Podunk WMA along with all of our wildlife management areas for a variety of wildlife species. And that requires an active management to do because some species prefer the young forest. And we also manage for species who prefer the old forest, the old growth forest. So that the variety of ages and structure are present to provide homes for a wide variety of Vermont's wildlife species. Oh, very nice, Brad. I think the landing is coming in excellent. This is going to be great habitat. Something we can take care of year after year. There aren't too many people as familiar with the Podunk WMA as Brad Greeno, a state lands forester who supervised a logging project on the property that was completed in the summer of 2013. The prescription for this sale at Podunk was to release the oak trees. Uh, here's an example of a nice red oak that was left behind. Trees around it were harvested to get a nice full crown, get a nice light, and uh, continue to grow and produce good quality uh, mass crops for us. Um, it's quite a good acorn crop we're seeing on the ground today as we're walking around, which is very encouraging. Uh, another uh, issue that we deal with regularly on our state timber sales are uh, the retention of bear clawed beech trees. The claw marks indicate that the uh, bears have climbed these trees in the past, indicates that it's a good nut producing tree, and we also release around those, which is basically opening up the crown to sunlight. Uh, they get more sun and less competition from trees around them, so they have uh, a chance to produce even more mass crops in the future. Logging is an important part of managing for different wildlife habitats, and the work goes far beyond simply cutting trees. Forestry consultants and loggers take great care to minimize impacts on surrounding trees, area streams, and vernal pools, as well as established trails and roads. I like to look at a forest as kind of a garden where it needs tending periodically. You know, Mother Nature does a pretty good job of getting it established, but to meet the goals and objectives that we want to accomplish, we need to tend it a little bit, which means taking some of the trees out and leaving certain trees there. So in the process of doing that, we're making roads and trails, and ultimately when we're finished, I want this place to look nice as well as being healthy and productive. While many plant and wildlife species respond immediately to forest management, some benefits will only be enjoyed by future generations. One of the things that foresters have to sort of get used to is that the crop that we're growing takes 100 plus years to grow. And so what we have to remember is that what we're doing is for the future, it's not really for today. And that what we're hoping to do is, is grow this forest as a sustainable, renewable resource so that all the future generations can derive some benefits from this land that are tangible. Dollars in revenue from timber sales, better wildlife habitat, better recreational opportunities, better water quality, and cleaner air to breathe around it so we can feel real good about what we're doing. Its network of logging roads makes the Podunk WMA easy to explore. White-tailed deer, moose, black bear, and wild turkeys are just a few of the animals that can be spotted on the area, along with large numbers of forest songbirds. But it's not just wildlife that benefits from the Vermont Fish and Wildlife Department's ongoing habitat management. It's the wildlife-based recreation that people can enjoy when they come here. And those can be in the form of hunting, or fishing, or trapping, uh, bird watching, photography, or just coming here to 
absorb what it sounds like, what it feels like, what it smells like, all of those components that we have a real visceral response to that are hard to describe but really have great value to us as individuals.